Welcome back. As we explained at the start of the show, what we're seeing today with wokeism's takeover of corporate America, Hollywood, Silicon Valley and Democrat run government at every level is not some short term fad. It's the culmination of a radical ideological movement that began in Germany in 1923 with the Frankfurt School of Philosophers, who believed that the only way to achieve worldwide communist revolution was to destroy what they considered to be the building blocks of bourgeois society, family, faith and culture. A central part of their success in capturing the levers of power, first in academia and now throughout our society, has been to capture our language. If you control language, you control thought. And that is the ultimate power. So we must understand that the policing of language we see today, the cancel culture, the expansion of their vocabulary into every aspect of daily life, this isn't some sideshow. It's a central part of their plan. Joining me now to discuss, host of The Rubin Report, Dave Rubin. You're just one of the strongest voices out there on all this, Dave. Um, a lot of people are saying this, this um, a focus on cancel culture and so on, it's just a bit silly and ridiculous. And it's, not, it's, it's, not, it's the heart of it, isn't it? This is the heart of, of their grab for power. This is the heart and this is the fight of a generation. You know, the fight of a generation is not, say, 1980s, you know, capitalism versus communism, you know, United States versus Russia, you know, Rocky Balboa versus Ivan Drago, where the lines were sort of clearly drawn. This, as you're saying in the lead in here, this slow march through the institutions where they went to our colleges, our universities, and they basically trained a generation of young people to believe yeah. that America is fundamentally evil. And then that these ideas then leak out. You know, a lot of people, when I started talking about this stuff four or five years ago, a lot of people kept saying to me, Dave, you know, this is just on college campuses. There's nothing to worry about. When they, when they graduate, they hit the real world, then they'll see what reality is. But the real world, the real world, folded pretty quickly and we are now seeing wokeism and diversity and inclusion and what I would say is actually modern day racism and systemic racism, by the way, which we don't have. They're the ones putting it in. It is now proliferating yes. throughout virtually every institution we have, whether it's educational, governmental, technological, etc. Exactly. That's so well put. Um, I want to make sure we can talk a little bit. Last time you were, I, I, I was um, interested in what you're doing to fight back and, and, and the effort you're leading there with locals. Just tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, look, what we're doing with locals.com is that I put my money where my mouth is and I started a tech company and my feeling was what we need to do for people are build digital homes. I think when people got on Facebook, say 20 years ago, people thought it was theirs, you know, just because it was facebook.com slash your name. You, you sort of thought you owned those pictures, you own those videos, you own that audio, <laughs> whatever was happening on your newsfeed, the communications. And what we've quickly realized, or I guess not that quickly, we're, we're kind of slow on the uptake, I suppose, as peon humans. Uh, over 20 years, we realized that we were the product, not the owners. So locals, we build digital homes for creators. I would welcome everybody to check out mine. It's a great example of what we can build for you, rubenreport.locals. Dot com. You can post your videos, your audio. You own the data. That way, if you leave us, it's your data. It's not our data. So we're trying to do something that's a much more mature way of looking at the Internet because, you know, in the 20 years or so that we've had social media, we didn't know what we got. You know, we all got this in our pocket and we didn't know what it was exactly. Well, now yeah. we're 20 years later and it's time to look at a mature way of how we're gonna relate to the internet because, you know, we spend all day long on the internet and somehow it's free. Well, maybe they are taking something from us. What do you think? Fantastic, Dave. I so admire you for doing that. And, and by the way, as a founder of a tech company myself in the past, I'd love to compare notes one day, but for now, Locals.com. Is that right? That's where people should go. Locals.com. And I'd love to trade notes. I somehow got an extra job in the middle of all of this, but that, that's all right. No, no rest. Well, the rest is for the weary. Fantastic. Great to see you as always, Dave. Good luck with Locals.com.